Hello, okay, so today I'm going to show you how to take your footage and make a multicam sequence in DaVinci Resolve. Sorry about the weird sound, I've just moved house, I'm trying to record this under a blanket, but it's not that easy to look at the computer screen and record under a huge blanket. Anyway, let's get started. As you can see, I like to just start in the edit tab just to save myself some time to be honest. So, the first thing you need to do is get your footage highlight it all and drag it into your sequence. Okay, so it will ask you if you want to change the project frame rate. If you're a beginner and you're new to this, I recommend pressing change and then DaVinci Resolve will do everything automatically for you. If you're a bit more advanced and you know what frame rate you want, then click don't change. But for this, I'm just going to use change to make it simple. So multicam can be quite taxing on a lot of people's systems because you're trying to play more than one footage at a time. So what you want to do is you want to highlight it all and then go to generate optimized media and this will help make your playback a lot faster. Okay so now we create the multicam sequence and you do this by highlighting everything, right click and create new multicam clip using selected clips. Okay so just give it a name whatever you want, I just call it multicam just so I can find it in my project better. Angle Sync, use sound so it matches your clips by waveform. And Angle Name, I like Sequential, but you can use Clip Name if you've named your clips in a way that you want to keep it, but Sequential is easier for me because it matches with the keyboard shortcuts that you use to edit. <sighs> okay, so once that's done, if you want to do any fine tuning in your multicam sequence, you'd right click it and then you'd go open in timeline and then you can do anything that you want just to neaten it up a little bit. Normally it works well, but sometimes you'll have a clip that doesn't match with the others. So then you create a new timeline, call it whatever you want. I'm gonna call this hip hop song and drag the multicam clip into your timeline. Okay, so now if you can't see these two source monitors here, you wanna click up here so you can get both of them. Okay, and now go to the source view monitor click this and click on multicam now you can see all your angles mine are black because it starts off with a fade in as you can see if you go there there you go you can see them all there i like to turn off the snipping tool for this because i like to make more fine-tuned adjustments than some people but it's personal preference so with multicam we normally only have one audio source so you right click it switch multicam angle and then make sure that your audio is selected. Mine's angle one, so I click angle one. Okay, and now you go to here and make sure you click video only. And now make sure that it only makes edits to the video and the audio is left alone. Oh, sorry, it's hard to breathe under this blanket. Oh my God. So the way that you would cut it is you could just press play and then you can just click and change the angle as it goes along and it'll make the edits in the timeline for you. Okay, so that's one way, just swapping between angle two, three, and four. The way I prefer to do it is press space and use the key. <laughs> Sorry, it fell in at that point. That was funny. Okay, I just use the keyboard shortcuts of two, three, and four. And that's why I prefer sequential naming because it matches up to the keyboard shortcuts. And there you go, it's made the edits for you as you go along. If you want to do some more fine-tuned adjustments, you'd scrub through until you can find a beat. You can see it on the waveform and you can hear it while you scrub through and then just click and you've made a cut at that exact moment that you wanted. Okay, and say when you've finished, you've got a little section that you think you've used the wrong clip for. You simply go over to it, highlight it, then right click it, and then switch multicam angle to the clip that you want to use. You can also do a little bit more fine tuning here if you go in and you can click and drag like this, which is pretty simple. Obviously you need to change that so you can see the edit. There you go. So there you go, that's how I use the multicam edit. If you've got any questions, please let me know and like and subscribe because I try and keep these videos short, but the YouTube algorithm hits it. So thank you.